My name is Akini Odongo, Monica Canary, Grace Bogwa. Mimi naitwa Jacinta Joki Gishuli. My name is Siru Mambare. As the chair of Kenya Fashion Council to get involved in into the tendering process with Safaricom and so that we can be able to flatten the curve because the country was in panic, people needed masks, there was no importation and the cloth mask, mask was, was a need you know, for, for the public use. So they started the process but you know it came out that they needed five million masks. Now, five million masks for any one person at that time was too much. And that's when also as a council, as a fashion council, we, we came together and we thought, this is an opportunity for all of us and for all our members and even for anyone in the industry. People are sitting at home, not working. So why not try and do this as a group? When the mask um, tender uh, was, was advertised, we saw the need. We actually reached out to Safaricom. You know, we were writing letters to different organizations if they can be able to supply masks to the public, but then give us the job to do so that we can be able to earn some money and our members are able to also earn money out of that. So this was the beginning of a long, exciting, uh, difficult journey. <laughs> But difficult in a good way because we did something we've never done before. We learned a lot of things and, and I think the best thing out of it is that pulling our energies, our resources as individuals together to do a common goal is the best thing that we could have done as the council. So the training part I think was the exciting part because it also transformed how we were doing masks as a business beyond just the project that we were doing for, for, for Safaricom. Tulikuwa watu more than 20 wale tulikuwa tunashona mahali hapa na tulipewa kiasi ya hizo mask na tukashona So then came to the bit of packing at this point everything is ready masks are printed and so there was packing and there were standards set by Safaricom of how we need to pack them we had sleeves but we were packing three masks in each sleeve and a little pamphlet with uh, directions of how to wear the mask, how to reuse the mask and all that. Also, since we are in the CBD, we served as a distribution point. So the masks were brought to our place and uh, people look from around and those who are coming from outside town and were not able to access it from uh, the other end of town came and got their pieces from us. So for me, I think one, I think I like the dedication, the commitment, though very tough, something new for KFCO, even as the leadership, to have been able to put together all of us, went through a whole process, training, starting to deliver. Overall, the experience was very educative, a good exposure, so it didn't only affect uh, the mask that we were doing at that point, but also the other consecutive ones that we did. na shukuru watu wa fashion council ya kwamba walitukumbuka kama watu wa uhuru market after to decision hatuwezi kusema tu kupata pesa ni kwa maana walikuwa wametufanyia kazi kuwa rahisi sana wametukatia so tunaweza kusema ya kwamba tulifaidika sana kama watu wa uhuru market na hizo mask za safari kom kupitia Kenya Fashion Council tunashukuru sana